Hey YouTube, I ordered some 1080p glasses uh, from eBay not too long ago and they came in pretty quick, uh, faster than they had estimated. Anyway, uh, the link for these glasses are in the comments below. And uh, anyway, this is an unboxing. I've already unboxed them, but I'm going to show you what was inside them. And uh, then you'll see exactly what I got. Okay, in the box, I got this nice little carrying bag that zips up and you can clip it on your belt loop if you want. I just carry it around. Got a nice set of instructions. They're fairly easy to understand. I got a USB charging cable. And there's the glasses that came wrapped in this. And, and you got a lens cleaner. And you get some dark lenses, dark blue lenses when you, or mine came with dark blue lenses. But I opted to take them out and put the clear ones in. So, because, and these actually video uh, pretty much where you're looking at a lot better than some of the other ones I had. Uh, the other ones, a lot of times I have to get a magic marker and I'll put it over the left eye because I'm left eye dominant and put a dot where the center of the video is. And it takes a little working. I have to go inside, outside, inside, outside to get it the dot right where the center of the video is but these seem to work pretty well anyway and uh, I'll get the glasses out and show you what it looks like in daytime and I took some video over these at night already so you'll see how well they do at night and they actually do pretty well at night and they are 1080p I don't know if they're a true 1080p but the picture comes out 1080p and the nighttime video seems to do quite well except for the uh, I guess it's called the ISO changes pretty abruptly, you know, and, and instead of smoothly. But other than that, for under 30 bucks, this is going to be a hard thing to beat for some T80P spy glasses. I failed to show you the glasses, so there they are. And if you look, you can see the little pinhole in the middle. They're not wide angle, and I have some wide angle 720 ones, but. I kind of wanted a standard view, and I thought I was going to have to put a mark on them, but I didn't have to. They pretty much, wherever you're looking, that's where it shoots video. And I uh, kind of like these. They look like normal glasses. People don't even know you're wearing them. Okay, I'm going to take them out and give them a shot in the daytime. I've already got some night video, and we'll see how it works out. And this is how they look in daylight. Seem to do quite well. I'm going to see how close I can get to the stop sign until I can read the the street sign. There goes a crow. And I don't know if you can make out the street sign or not, but there's the stop sign. And we'll see uh, how well that does. And into the sun, kind of with some glare and I'll just do a pan around my tree, my poor tree that the snow kind of damaged it and here's some video I shot at night with it and you can see that uh, just pretty well it's just that when it goes from light areas to dark areas it has that stepping thing and i really don't care for that a lot but uh for under 30 bucks you know it, it's still pretty good you get pretty good 1080p video and it picks up uh stuff in the dark fairly well i mean it was a good half hour 45 minutes after sunset and the moon's out you can see the moon quite well it just does a pretty good job Here's how, how well they do indoors. You should be able to read that fairly easily uh, with this on the indoors. And let's see. I don't know. Okay, here's some up close. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but this is up close indoors. And I'd say that's probably about um, seven inches or so. Okay. And. We'll see how it does.